NWA Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling. I'm Chris Cruz along with Dan Parrish. And Dan, let's run it down. A big hour ahead. We're going to see midgets in action. What a great match that's going to be. Also, a mixed tag team match as uh, Strawberry and Triple X will oh, be yeah. on hand. Well, actually, Strawberry will be challenging Leilani Kai for the Mid-Atlantic Ladies title. And uh, if you haven't seen Strawberry, you are really going to see some action. Hell. Everybody's smiling about that. All right, Dan, it's uh, going to be a great hour. And fans, let's begin right now here on NWA Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling. Let's retake. <laughs> Things didn't go his way. L.A. Stevens tried to interfere and lead him to victory, and that backfired, blew up in his face. And uh, as of our speaking right now, Ricky Nelson is the brand new Mid Atlantic Junior Heavyweight Champion. And that has got to really get under the uh, under the uh, craw there of Gary Royal. Now the standing side headlock there on uh, Jackson, and Tim Jackson shoots him for the ride. Oh, man. Shoulder block. Down goes Jackson. And talking to shoot. Speaking about shooting for the shooting for the ride. You did say ride, didn't you? Absolutely. The midgets uh, on the way. Also, we're going to see Strawberry in action. We are all looking forward to that here on NWA Mid Atlantic Championship Wrestling. Again, shoots him into the ring, and again the shoulder block. Down goes Jackson. Up goes Royal, and up goes no. Nice hip toss, toss there on Jackson. And Jackson is dealing with a veteran and Royal. Says Jackson in, pro in trouble. Now the collar and elbow tie up, and Jackson wisely, uh, Royal wisely uh, just shoves Jackson. This is a real different Gary Royal than what we saw him last. He is clearly furious about losing the championship. Nice high back body drop. Man. Wow. Jackson knows what he's got to do to, to try and defeat Gary Royal, and I'm going to tell you something, Chris. If he beats Royal, that will be a big feather in his cap. Yeah, really, if you think about it, you know, the career of Royal began actually probably before Jackson was even born. A Royal is uh, really a veteran. He's been around a long time. He knows exactly what to do, how to do it, when to do it, and where. And now Jackson is rolling and rocking and reeling, and he's down on one knee, but right back this up. This was for Ricky Nelson. You heard that. Gear Royal means business, and I'm sure he wants oh. his title back, and he's also got some animosity for Ricky Nelson. Oh man, and he just stomps on the side of the face of Jackson. Jackson's reeling. Now Jackson's been known to throw out the rule book, but I don't think he expected this, Chris. This is a very different Royal that we are seeing. Oh man, velocity like you wouldn't believe in the elbow there by Gary Royal. This is great action, Dad. I agree with you. Just uh, another indication of what we have. Hang on. Small package. One. No, I'm not even a one count there. And Royal. Oh, wow. He flew. A big clothesline or a lariat, whatever you want to call it, really just sent Jackson crashing. And the gorgeous one lines up Jackson and a solid right. And Jackson is real. And he's right on top of us here now at ringside on NWA Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling. Scoop slam and drives Jackson down. Royal setting up for an aerial attack. This is unusual for Gary Royal. He is far away, and he misses, and misses big. The elbow does not land, and now can Jackson uh, capitalize on this? That is going to be the big question. A solid right to the top of the head there by Jackson. And Jackson sends Royal for the ride. Hip toss. And Royal is really earning his keep tonight. Oh, he is operating literally from his knees. There was a, a lariat from his knees. Now a straight right from his knees. Royal is coming to Jackson from every angle. Forearm shot to the side of the head. Royal putting on a wrestling clinic, but he's in a bad mood and really throwing out the rule book as well. 
Uh oh, Jackson. Oh, Jackson thought that he was going to go for an aerial maneuver, and Royal grounded the young man just that quickly with a solid right to the mush. And now another one right into the chest. And Jackson's in trouble, and Jackson is desperately in need to turn this match around. Oh, a swinging neck breaker. That's a version of it. And the gorgeous one may be able to turn this thing into a victory right now. And he does not go for the pin. A big mistake, it looks like. A scoop and oh, a slam. Oh, oh. Going for the tombstone. Pile driver. He gets it. He's got it. Here comes the one, two, and that's it, Dan. Gary Royal makes it look easy. He had him where he wanted to. With a tombstone pile driver, Gary Royal back on the path. On the path to the Mid-Atlantic Junior Heavyweight title. Ladies and gentlemen, at ringside, Mid-Atlantic, former Mid-Atlantic Junior Heavyweight they, Champion. These people know who I am, and they know what I am, and they know what I'm about. If you're even half a wrestling fan, and you've been watching this sport for the last 15 or 20 years, you know who I am. And you know what? Ricky Nelson's fixing to find out exactly what I am and exactly what I'm about. I do my talking in the ring, big boy, and I'm fixing to speak some stuff you ain't gonna be able to understand. Gary Royal wants his, wants his title back. Let's go back to ringside. Curtis Thompson, Strawberry Fields, the current Mid-Atlantic Tag Team Champions, NWA World Tag Team Champions. You guys are gonna be defending the World Tag Team Champions later in this hour. That's right, we are. We're afraid of nobody. We take on all comers. Tonight, you're gonna see why we're the best. We're the hottest, we're the meanest, we're the strongest. The Road Warriors, Midnight Express, Rock and Roll Express had nothing on us. We're the best, and tonight, you're gonna see why. Also, Strawberry Fields, the current national national championship wrestling NWA Wildside TV champion a man's title and contending tonight for Leilani Kai in the Mid-Atlantic Ladies title, a title you won't back around your waist. That's right. I've paid my dues. We've all paid our dues, and we're going to get out there, and we're going to do what we do best, and that's do what the NWA way. Tradition rules, baby, and we're going to be in your town next. You know hey, baby! who are shorter than you and me. Can you imagine? Gee. Oh, look out for the referee. Tony Hunter took a low blow there from Cheesy. And we've got Joe Kidd set to move out against uh, Cheesy. Did he hurt anything, ref? Apparently he did. We are bringing all of the excitement, all of professional wrestling here to NWA Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling on television. Cheesy with a wrist lock and uh, is, is chewing on the hands and the fingers of Joe Kidd. Cheesy's hungry. Yeah, you'd know something about that, wouldn't you, Dad? Oh, thanks a lot, Chris. <laughs> and Joe Kidd shows that he can bite as well. What a stench. What a stench. We're smelling it too, brother. Still to come, we're going to see Strawberry in action. Uh, also, Chief Waffle McDaniel will join you for the main event. It's Bunkhouse Buck taking on Colt Steele. And Strawberry Fields will collide with Leilani Kai as Leilani Kai, a longtime veteran, holding a lot of titles around the 
of the world. In yep. fact, Japan, the WWF, the uh, man all over. The former WWF Ladies World and Tag Team Champion. And Tony Hunter, I guess, I guess you blow it up. He's blowed up. Tony says that's enough. He's playing a game of catch with Joe Kidd. Cheesy looks hot. He's got to get a point. The King not making any uh, friends here among his subjects. A boot, ooh, man, and right to the back of the head there, Joe Kidd. Goes for the pin, one, two. Oh, and he throws him away. He did, the, re the referee did exactly what Cheesy told him to do. Tony Hunter, Tony Hunter actually Catapulting Cheesy out of the ring, and Cheesy has, uh, has got a legitimate gripe about this. Hey, rep! Hey, rep! Hey, that's abuse of a midget. That's against the law in a lot of states here. Using a midget wrestler. Look at the size of Hunter. He's bigger than you. Tony Hunter is at least six feet. He's getting onto the midget level, I guess. He's on one knee. Oh! Ooh. Oh, nicely delivered elbow there by Cheesy. Cheesy with a rear chin lock. Trying to get down to the basics, then for once we're going to see some wrestling, maybe. Well, it looks like it. I mean, you know, certainly there is comedy when we have midget involved, but uh, there's also no doubt that they can really wrestle. And this is certainly an oh, indicative of a beautiful suplex there by Cheesy on Joe Kidd. And a pull of the hair. Look at the facial expressions there on Cheesy. Also, Chris, want to throw in a, oh. a brief uh, historical fact. Cheesy was trained by a, a legendary Dominic Danucci in uh, Pennsylvania. One, two, and three. That's it. Joe Kidd with a rolling cradle. Who also trained Mick Foley. Right. Joe Kidd victorious here on NWA, Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling. And maybe uh, Cheesy ought to go visit Dominic Danucci and see if uh, he can't get some tips. Uh-oh, confrontation here. Whoa. Wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> you know, you've heard of getting spanked. Cheesy, here's your crown. Here's your cape. Well, you're welcome. In this hour of the main event, Buckhouse Buck, one of the roughest, toughest, meanest men in professional wrestling, invades the NWA Mid-Atlantic area Shit. to take on heavyweight champion Colt Steele. He's a geek. Coach Steel, you 10 cent drugstore cowboy. You are nobody, boy. I'm the only real cowboy in the Mid Atlantic area. I'm the bunkhouse. You got by me just by inches the last time, boy. I had you on the ropes. Tonight, I'm going to get this rope around your fat neck and drag you from one end of the ring to the other. I'm going to be the Mid Atlantic champion. I keep wait. <laughs> accompanied by Strawberry Fields, who later in the hour will be facing Leilani Kai. 
And Leilani Kai, the current NWA Mid-Atlantic Ladies title holder. And Strawberry Fields can't wait to try and pursue her and get the... I think he was talking to you, Dan. I think yeah. Cyclone just told you to shut up. Yeah, perhaps so. He's a real friendly guy, huh? Are these your brothers and sisters you brought along here? No, no, no kin of mine, you know. No relation. No kin of mine. And the referee prepares to, well, I guess the indication is that we are looking at the World Tag Team title belts, and these, as well as the NWA Mid-Atlantic Tag Team titles, are on the line here with Triple X as they face Cyclone. That's Dirty D and Tough T, Drake Dawson and Curtis Thompson. Man, these guys are power packed and they are jacked for action. This is gonna be a great tag team match here on NWA Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling. A lucky fan catches a Curtis Thompson t-shirt as a souvenir. Look at these guys. You know, if they didn't, weren't wearing dog collars, you couldn't really see whether or not they had a neck. This is incredible. We're off and running the Cyclone. Gonna start it off. You know, I gotta think, Dan, not a soul in this arena is looking uh, for a tag team title change here. And I think probably they're right. The Triple X is gonna have a lot of fun with these guys, but they may not represent a serious threat. However, in wrestling, you never know. Upsets have happened, no doubt about it. As we said, they are managed by Strawberry Fields. Now the standing side headlock. You're gonna see some power moves in this match, just like that one, and the Cyclone in a blue flash goes flying. Actually, Chris, upsets happen more or less than often than not in wrestling, but last week, oh. J.W. Boss upset uh, Craig Pittman on TV. Well, you know, that's a very good point. Of course, uh, Ricky Nelson, now the champion, having to, oh, another power move, power bomb, could be over almost a three count. I can't believe it. Cyclone kicked out of that one. Cyclone showing a lot of resiliency and able to kick out, sent for the ride. Watch this, oh, great tag team action, lands right on Cyclone's neck. Drop to hold in a catapulting leg drop combination. Well, this could be one of a number of things. And it turns out to be a version almost of a flapjack. That's it. Sort of like a reverse vertical suplex. Well, he decides to give the fans maybe a little bit more action. Oh, and drops the knee very quickly. Yeah! Cyclone is getting absolutely leveled, and his partner gets leveled, too. Rick Lee goes crashing off the side of the apron, and the Cyclone oh, is... Oh, oh, man. Ooh. You heard the thud. Now, look out. These guys are explosive, so be careful, Dan. Oh, and Strawberry gets into it. Oh, some slaps and kicks. Strawberry can hold her own, I'll tell you what, in the NWA... NCW Wildside area. For those of you who uh, have America One at home, she is the current television champion of that organization. Yeah, it's interesting, and that's not the ladies television champion, she's the television champion. And Cyclone now is driven into the mat. And this is gonna do it for Triple X, no, and again. It's almost out of courtesy that Triple X ought to put this thing to bed. Here comes the tag. And now, I guess this is Rick Lee, and in comes Lee. Like Lamb's being uh, led to the slaughter here. Oh, man, and has his chest caved in. This may be the first and only time oh, that we see Rick Lee. One, two, and three. Can you imagine that's your debut as a wrestler?
Triple X and Strawberry Fields retain the titles. Wait a minute, we've got trouble here. JW Boss, L.A. Stevens, and Ronnie P. Gossett leads the attack. Well, Strawberry needs to get out of there. Looks like she has after Triple X successfully defended their world in NWA tag team titles. They are just slaughtered here by the Predator and JW Boss. Boss now has got Strawberry. He's got Strawberry. He's going to choke slam her, Chris. No. They're oh! Gonna, they're going to assault this young woman, and this. She goes head first into that mysterious box there of the Predator. She's crumpled to the mat, writhing in pain. J.W. Boss continuing the attack on the strawberry fields. This is sickening. This is and disgusting. Finally, in comes a chair, and in comes Triple X. But Strawberry has been viciously assaulted here on NWA Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling. Chris, if you look real close, she's busted open. She's been busted open. What a heinous attack. This is sickening. This is ridiculous. This is absurd. They have busted open a woman. Is this the most vicious and absurd thing that we have ever seen? They have busted open a woman. This makes me sick to my stomach. This is ridiculous. God, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Take a good look at this. Hey, anything goes, anytime, any place. You want to put the belts? You can have them belts. We don't care. All we want is revenge now. You want to speak it like you got to fight kids in the trash? You don't touch a woman. Well, well, Chris, right after, uh, right after this timeout, Strawberry Fields has uh, got to wrestle with Lonnie Kai for the ladies' title. Well, that'll be a question. Weird to see that on a lady. for that. You know, Strawberry Fields, a victim of a heinous attack from J.W. Boss and L.A. Stevens, one of the most disgusting, heinous, and cowardless attacks I've ever seen in professional wrestling. And then she comes, and there goes Leilani Kai. You know, it's bad enough facing Leilani Kai when you're at 100%, and Strawberry is now, we're going to see her get the stuffing beaten out of her. This is a bad move for her, a bad move. Yes, indeed. I'll tell you what, oh. Leilani Kai is going to go for that wound. You know as well as I do, she's going to go for that like a tiger after a rabbit and she, rip it open. She just went for it. I think the bandage is already off, and we're going to see some blood flowing if Leilani Kai has anything to say about it. And fans, I can assure you, she does. This is not going to be pretty. Well, you've got to give uh, Strawberry Fields a, a oh. tremendous amount of credit for the guts and the courage Maybe more guts than brains in this situation to go for the title. Well, now Triple X, who uh, moments ago was encouraging Strawberry not to go ahead with a match, well, I guess has decided that if she's going to go ahead with it, they'll encourage her. And Strawberry is coming back on Leilani Kai, the women's champion, a version of a stunner. Oh, and she doesn't go for the cover, giving Leilani Kai some time to recover. And that bandage is, oh. is working its way free. 
You can see some of the cake blood already. And Leilani Kai, when she sees that, it's going to be like blood in the water to a shark. Look at the big fist. Oh, she goes. Man, she goes right for the forehead. She's working on that head. She's trying to burst her open again. And you know, Chris, that's what she wants to do so she can put her away. Leilani Kai wants to walk out of here the same way she walked in with the gold. About a half dozen solid whites to the gut there of Leilani Kai by Strawberry right above us here now. And Strawberry is laying those chops in. Oh, and Leilani Kai goes flying right into the corner. Look at the, the face of Leilani Kai. She can't believe that the injured Strawberry has this much energy. Leilani Kai falling victim to this attack. One for good measure. Leilani Kai goes down. Strawberry, will she be able to make the cover? Goes for it, one, two, and almost becomes the new champion. That headbutt, I don't think that was a very wise move on her part there, Chris. Good point. It's a good way. She's already weakened. She's, she's very valiant in her efforts in the ring. Strawberry has lost a lot of blood. The Irish grip, Leilani Kai, oh, takes a shot to the gut. But it looks like, oh, here comes a DDT. And that's going to do it. Leilani Kai moves over. One, two, and three. That's it. That's it. Leilani Kai retains the ch championship. Hey. What is this? Oh, a chop. I don't know who this young woman is, but Leilani Kai is going to try to beat her down. What was that all about? Leilani Kai, the uh, retaining the uh, Mid-Atlantic Ladies title, and I'm sure we'll find out about this situation in the weeks ahead on Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling. Watching Craig Pitfield Pittman, and yes, I'm here in Mid-Atlantic, and I'll tell you something. Did you see what happened out there? Well, I'll tell you what. I spent a lot of years in the core and in the trenches, and I'll tell you, it's going to get dirty because what they did is nothing compared to what I'm going to do now. When I see those two chumps again, those two maggots, it's going to be in the trenches, and we're going to get awful muddy, and I'll tell you what. We're going to put Mid-Atlantic on the map. Bunkhouse Buck having some uh, making some nasty remarks about you there, Wahoo. I'm gonna try to say something good about him if anything comes up. Bunkhouse Buck set to take on Colt Steele for the uh, heavyweight title. A title in the past. Held by Ivan Koloff, Ricky Steamboat. Jimmy Valiant, and now Colt Steele walks into those steps. <laughs> 
as well. Hold still with a hip toss. I don't know what Bunkhouse Buck has against you, but some sort of vendetta there. I had to wrestle him before I retired. Well, I, evidently, he must be wanting you back in the ring. I mean, it's, it's got to be the case. Well, there's no chance of that, believe me. I'm as close to this ring as I'm ever going to get. Well, I'll tell you what, when you were active, and I'm not saying this is because you're sitting out here, but you were one of the all-time greats, and indeed, a pleasure to be here at ringside with a legend like Wahoo McDaniel. We went and got him, bringing him back. An atomic drop onto the spine of Buckhouse Buck. And Buckhouse Buck feeling the effects and taking off a boot, a cowboy boot. Right across the head of Colt Steele. I don't think the official saw that, Wahoo. No, I don't think he's getting back in the ring. And Buckhouse Buck tried to knock Colt Steele out. Colt Steele feeling the effects of that cowboy boot across the side of the head. You know, I'm going to tell you something. Not only is that belt, that belt means money, gold, prestige, honor, and pride, pride to hold that title. It's always a lot of pride involved when you hold a title. Because believe me, every time you wrestle, you wrestle good competition, it can leave you in a hurry. It's as easy as it's out there. And no doubt about it, whoever wins this match is certainly looking forward to a shot at the world heavyweight title holder somewhere down the road. Maybe not in the in the immediate future, but in in the future somewhere down the road. Ogawa, the current Japanese star that holds the NWA world heavyweight title. Well, one thing about it, when you lose, it doesn't look good on your record. You have to keep your record. You, get, you know, where you're eligible when they come, you're one of the guys that they want to see you wrestle you got to try and stay on top. You've got to try to keep your wins more than your losses, I guess you're trying to say. You have to keep your wins a lot of, way ahead of your losses. And Buckhouse Buck with an abdominal stretch and hanging onto that top rope for added leverage. And I know that's a move that you've utilized in the past. Now, Wahoo, what exactly does that abdominal stretch do to you when you've got it locked on? When you got it hooked in there in the leg, it puts all the pressure on your back. It's very difficult to put on and escape from as well. Yes, and it puts a strain on your back. Well, I'll tell you what, both of these, both of these competitors showing the effects of the battle. Colt Steele being dumped out of the ring almost crashes into one of our ringside photographers. They're out on the floor again. Let's settle this anywhere they can. We're getting wild and we're getting wooly. Colt Steele with a knife edge chop. An eye gouge from Buckhouse Buck. This is breaking down and getting nasty. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He's got a he's got a rope. He's trying to hang. Colt Steele. And I'll tell you what, Bunkhouse Buck is looking real nasty at you too, Walter. Well, the best thing I advise him, we better keep his mind on Colt Steele because if he doesn't, he can get the shoulder in the stick. Right when you're wrestling a match like this, you better pay all your attention to your opponent. Exactly. These two men are going at it tooth and nail outside the ring. Tony Hunter doesn't want to count both of these men out. We want to see a winner here. Bunkhouse Buck being smashed head first into the ring apron. Back into the ring. Both of these men feeling the effects of the battle. Coach Steele, judging by his emotion, is getting highly upset here. Coach Steele trying to fight back with a few haymakers and brawling of his own, and maybe that's a mistake when you're dealing with Buckhouse Buck. Well, you gotta give, you gotta take, but you gotta give, too. 
Needs to get on him. Don't let him get his breath back. Cold steel sent crashing into referee Tony Hunter. Down goes Tony Hunter. Wait a minute. What Buckhouse Buck has got a has got a pair of brass knuckles in his hands. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We can't see this. We we don't want to travesty of justice. Ah, Cold Steel has been nailed. You know, a pretty good lick there. Tony Hunter gets revived in time. We're going to have a new Mid-Atlantic heavyweight champion and highway robbery as well. That's about what it is. He's got him pinned for about a count of five. And Tony Hunter is not moving, not yet revived. Colt Steele is still down even longer and longer. Bunkhouse Buck could have this match won, but he doesn't because the official is out of it. The impact of that blow really sent Tony Hunter crashing down. And Colt Steele looks like he's knocked out. We need, a, we need a second official to, to get in here and going on. Regain some justice. Bunkhouse Buck making yeah. threats to Wahoo McDaniel at ringside here. Tell you what, you, you couldn't win a fair match if you had to. You couldn't handle me. Wahoo, take off your headset. Wahoo McDaniel nails Bunkhouse Buck. Colt Steele retains the Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight title. Bunkhouse Buck continued to threaten Wahoo McDaniel and the Big Chief. Nailed Buckhouse Buck and Colt Steele with a victory. <laughs> Colt Steele retains the title. And Wahoo McDaniel with an added assist, nails Bunkhouse Buck. Bunkhouse Buck, Wahoos. I got one left. One left. Yeah. Wah Wahoo McDaniel. Great exciting edition of NWA Mid Atlantic Championship Wrestling. Chris Cruz, I appreciate all your help throughout the hour. A great job you've done. And Wahoo McDaniel, what a very violent affair we've seen with Colt Steel and Buck House Buck. Well, you knew it was going to be that type of both experienced veterans. Like you said, if Brian gets in the way, you got to be a winner. And everybody wants to win, and I'm going to be one winner. And it got a great spout out there. Until next time, Stan Parrish for Chief Wahoo McDaniel, Chris Cruz. So long for now.